Welcome to Christianforco.uk Get Going Guides. This podcast will be looking at adding a graphic element to your page. First thing to do to make a graphic element is to choose a graphic box and draw a box roughly the size that you want the picture to go into. Don't click inside the box because you think you're going to be wanting to put text in there. But go to the file menu and down to import and then you can go to your media folder for your website uh, that you've got and then import a picture to it. Freeway doesn't really mind about file formats so you can import Photoshop's, Illustrator files, JPEGs, all sorts of different file formats uh, go in there. It doesn't matter whether Photoshop document's got layers on it or not, it will only show the visible layers uh, in the file. So I'm going to open up a Photoshop document and open it up and the image is a bit too big for the box uh, so I can go to the item menu and down to graphic and then scale and pad which means it will scale it and center it in the box so it's got to the right size uh, that I want it but the width of the box is wrong but I can instantly change the box to just fit the width of the image so I don't end up with unnecessary boxes all over the screen I can then, with this picture, ask Photoshop, uh, ask Freeway to work out how to process it. So at the moment it's a JPEG at 75%. I could change it to be a GIF file and I can choose what uh, images it looks like, what the image will look like and the rendering that it will have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this and to move the box, not the image, and then make another one and have it as a different file format. And then we can see what the difference between the files are and which one works the best. So we've previewed that in Firefox and you can see that there's not much difference uh, between uh, the two images. If I choose, want to change my mind and I want it to be in a 216 palette, I can change the palette and then preview it again instantly and Freeway will redraw the file for me and you can see that now there is a difference uh, between it. So it's, that's the difference between the 216 palette and the adaptive palette uh, within Freeway. So it's very easy to get images in and to resize them so it's just a question of looking at the item menu and the graphic element to uh, resize them and you can change the file formats uh, in the um, inspector window. Now, if I want to, I've got an image that is perfect and I, it's come through, it's got all the right features put onto it inside a program like Photoshop or something like that and I don't want it to change it, I don't want Freeway to re-render it in any way at all. Uh, I can do that very simply by, again, when I import it, I'm going to have this new banner here. So this is the banner that we're going to work with later on and I tell it I want it to be a pass-through so not to interpret it at all uh, and just to render it as it is so I'm just going to open that and it will instantly convert the picture box into a table box or CSS box if you had CSS working and you can uh, still fix the box to the content and then that way Freeway will not re-render it at all so if we go to preview you can see that I've instantly added that and that's the original uh, file that I was working with. So, very easy to bring pictures in. You can resize them uh, and you can move them around in the box. Just click on them and you can position them however you like. And you can home in on just a bit of the picture if you want as well. So, that's it for pictures. The advantage of this is that when you resize it, it's not resizing the original big picture, it's making a new picture at the perfect size. In programs like Dreamweaver and HTML code, you can resize the picture inside the code, but that means you've still got to load a big picture in. So if it's a big photo picture of many, many kilobytes, then it will take a while to load, where this one uh, won't take a while to load. So another element of pictures is I can bring a picture into an HTML box if 
go to import. So I'm going to import a Photoshop document into this and I'm going to ask it to be a pass through. So it has appeared on my screen. So that all looks fine from my point of view, but it is a Photoshop document. It isn't going to re render it as a JPEG, it will be a Photoshop. So what it well what happens when we preview it now is you will find all the other pictures are working but this picture needs a plugin which probably doesn't exist on how to put Photoshop layered images onto a web page. The web browser can't naturally read that file and it's given you a download plugin uh, option if it doesn't know what to do with it. So that's the trouble of pass through. It can cause some problems, uh, but it can save some problems as well. And if you're working in CSS or table format, then be careful when you're using pass through to import the pictures from there. So visit me at www.christianforco.uk or you can find me on iTunes or on YouTube.